Hey everyone, I'm John Wagnon with Dev Central, and I want to talk to you today about monitors. Why we need to monitor, what we can monitor, why it's important to your web application. So I have this picture up here of a client that maybe comes through a router to a big IP LTM or maybe a GTM is, is uh, balancing some DNS traffic for you. You may have an ASM that's protecting your web application. And let's say from a basic perspective, you have a client that wants to access your web app and the, you know, your web servers are down here in your data center with, uh, with the database servers as well, let's say. And when a client accesses that web app, you want that to be responsive, of course. Well, from a management perspective, you need to know if the web servers are available or if they're uh, you know, offline, online, that kind of thing. The same with your database servers. And so it's very important to monitor all these things because if any of these things break, then that client experience is going to be a poor one uh, at best, and they may not even get to your web application at all. So it's very important to monitor all these different servers uh, that, that host or, or control your web application. So what is a monitor? Well, with the Big IP, we have a couple of different monitors. We have a, we have a uh, health monitor, and I'll try to draw this so you can see it. And then we have a performance monitor. So the health monitor, I'm going to draw like a little heartbeat, let's say. That's a bad heartbeat. And then over here on the performance, I'm going to draw like a, like a, a speedometer, you know, 0 to 100, let's say. So there's two different kinds of monitors. There's a health monitor and there's a performance monitor. The health monitor just tells you whether your application or your server is, uh, is up or down, whereas the performance monitor tells you how quickly it's responding. So you, could, uh, you can compare this to, say, a car. Uh, whereas the health monitor would tell you is the car on or off, the performance monitor would tell you how fast is the car going to be able to drive down the road. So each one of these is very important in terms of monitoring and, uh, and it's something that you need to keep in mind. You know, some, some web applications you may, you may say, hey, if it's down, then certainly I need to know that and I'm not going to load balance traffic to that uh, server. But sometimes you may say, hey, I want it to be responsive enough that if, it is, if it's below a certain threshold, then I'm going to stop balancing to that one as well and I'm going to come over here. So <clears throat> each one serves a very critical purpose. So now that we've got what is a monitor, uh, why do we monitor, then let's talk about the different types of monitors that we can have on the Big IP and uh, kind of the status indicators to look for and what those things mean. Okay, so we talked about what can you monitor on the Big IP. And these are the different objects on the Big IP that you can monitor, the node, the pool, the pool member, or the virtual server. And then these are the different status icons that you'll see when you're in your Big IP uh, interface. And so it's important to kind of know what each one of these means. So to break it down, we have two different kinds of circles, two different kinds of diamonds, and then there's a triangle and a square. So the circle means that the, that the object is available, and it is ready to receive traffic. The diamond means that it is, has been marked down or it's not able to receive traffic. The, uh, the triangle, and, and imagine these are, these are actually yellow triangles. We didn't want to write yellow on a white board, so it's hard to see. But imagine that's going to be a yellow triangle. And basically what that means is that the object is available and it's ready to receive traffic. However, a threshold has been crossed. Let's say, for example, uh, you have a server that you set a max threshold at say 500 connections. Well, at the at connection number 501, because you set that uh, threshold, the big IP is going to say, hey, you've crossed that threshold and I'm going to mark that unavailable at the moment. And then when you drop back below that threshold, under 500 in this case, then it'll mark it back to uh, enabled and ready to go. Um, and so then the last one is this blue, uh, the, the blue um, square. And the blue square basically means that you don't have a monitor on that object uh, right now, or you do have a monitor and it just has not received any response yet. And so those are the different icons. So really quick to kind of break it down, between the two different types of circles, there's a green circle, which means it's available, it's enabled, it's ready to go. A black circle means that you administratively did something. You said, hey, I want this to be, uh, to be marked unavailable. And then the red diamond versus the black diamond basically means that the red diamond basically means that the big IP said that, hey, this thing's down right now. And the black diamond means that you administratively forced it offline. So you can, you, basically, you can think of it as the black means that you went in and did something to mark it uh, you know, down or, or um, 
disabled. Whereas the green, the yellow, and the red, and the blue means the big IP did it automatically. So those are the different kind of node status indicators, and those are the different uh, objects on the big IP that you can uh, monitor with those different node indicators. So it's good to know what those are. It's good to keep, uh, keep those in mind. It's good to know what you're looking at when you're in the big IP. So to, to kind of wrap this up, we've talked about monitors. We've talked about what they are from a general perspective. We've talked about why you need to monitor. We've talked about the different color indicators that you'll see on the big IP. And uh, monitoring is an important thing. So stay tuned for more exciting videos on Dev Central. We'll be coming to you kind of digging in more on monitors with more specifics in the future. So uh, we look forward to seeing you out there.